Okay, in this video we will look at animation again, but now animation along a circle. So here we have some uh, examples of what you could do with that. And first I'll show it. And then we will try to rebuild it ourselves, more or less. And these are just some examples that are possible, but of course you can use your own creativity to uh, play with that, create even other useful game uses of this, because this is uh, just to show you how the thing works in the editor. Okay, let's stop here and then try to create something like this. So first we have to select the object type and that can be done <coughs> here for instance, the box shapes. And now this one is selected, but we can of course also try another one just to make it a bit different and then we want to create a stone structure like this and these are I think about 32 objects so we go to the create menu and then we want static objects so they will stay put we want to create them uh, in a circle and that's this option and the spiraling actually we don't want, so we reset it to zero. And then um, we can just create it somewhere like this. And then we have uh, about 32 objects in a circle. And then we can select them because of course we can leave it at like this but the example is, is a bit thicker structure so let's go to the properties and then we want to select and these objects here about 32 objects let's collapse everything and then we go to transformation menu to set the size so now we can see the size here is um, this one is actually determined by the size of the circle and the number of objects and the other one is default 2 so we can change this with the slider so let's make it a bit bigger and set it to 10 and now we have uh, a circle structure with 32 objects and then uh, of course we want to animate this and go to the animation menu second option is circle animation and then you select a point inside the circle and then you will try to match it with the uh, the structure itself because then uh, it will remain intact like that and then play and we see it's actually moving in a circle and this is uh, comparable to, to this example and it creates some nice effect but suppose we want to have it like this that the structure stays in the original uh, shape and we pause we can undo and then we have to select uh, all these objects um, better to do it like this so we have 32 objects go to the properties menu and then we have something uh, that is called align with velocity and because the velocity moves in a circle we can uh, set it to align with the velocity so it stays uh, as we want that it moves, the orientation moves along with the circle. So that's 
that option that you may want to use in this case. Of course, uh, in the examples you see there's a hole, so somebody can enter. You can just use the uh, erase menu and then create a hole here. Okay, something else we may want to change is uh, the actual movement. So again, let's uh, select all these objects here and go to the properties and collapse everything, go to animation and we see here equation is none. This means it's a linear movement, so it just moves the same velocity all the time. But from here we can choose other options. Um, this is also discussed in the uh, animate along a line. There are different uh, ways of doing the interpolation. And you will see there are different movements coming from that. So that it can be used uh, when you animate along a line, but also when you animate along a circle. So that's something you can play with. And let's uh, select all the objects again. And also the same as with the uh, along a line, there's one object which is the engine. And if that one gets uh, deleted or destroyed, then the animation uh, will not happen. And all these objects also have a group name. So this gets interesting if we have something nice and maybe you may want to copy it. So let's duplicate this one in that direction. Now we have two of them. And if we look at the group name, you can see it's actually changed. It gets a B after it, because maybe we want to have different behaviors, behaviors in, this, uh, in this group. So let's look at where's the elastic one. Yeah, here's the elastic one. So they have to be in a different group because the group determines what the uh, engine object is, which is actually the only object which is uh, animated, and then the others just follow. It also depends on this offset value, but normally in this case you wouldn't want to change that one. And then, of course, we can also uh, do other things here if we selected all the objects. I want to adjust the size again or turn off the align with velocity and maybe do rotate by velocity and you will get another effect. And maybe it's now to too fast, so we can reduce the speed of the animation, maybe to about 5. Ok, let's now create animation in a circle but using for instance this triangle shape and we may want to uh, create like 14 objects and um, the default line width is a bit small maybe so I'll increase it to 3 and then we can see what happens it's something like this and instead of a full circle, we will create like half a circle and then select these objects, go to the animation and it's already set to animate along a circle. So let's see if we can align this 
and then we get this animate along a circle behavior. Again, of course, the um, objects do not automatically align. We have to specify this. So maybe we want to have it like this. Select the objects and then say transformation and um, <coughs> align with velocity. So then we get more what we want in this case. Okay, this is uh, using triangle shapes as a, an example, and then we had some stuff here. Yeah, this is also for another video. These objects have a particle system. So then you will get some visual stuff like that. And this is also maybe nice to discuss because this is actually if we select an object it's actually not a circle animation but let's see how we could build something like that um, the creation of the object is in a circle and we could set the line width to a bit smaller like 1.4 and then um, well actually we want more objects in this case I guess so and then we will remove some so let's set it to 40 and do the previous one create the objects like this and you can also see it was not a full circle so then let's delete some of them just playing a bit and then selecting all the objects here like this and again using the transformation to play with it so we're, we can of course make them um, thicker but we can also make them longer and that's what was happening in the uh, animation you see below and um, we can also go to the physics menu and set a certain rotation speed so then you get uh, these kinds of effects and as you can see this one uh, below the example it's actually moving along a line and of course we can do that but since we're talking about animating along a circle let's just see what happens if we do it like this then you get some nice uh, visual effects and of course you can uh, play around with this with the, the player so because these are all physics objects the player can interact with that and um, this last example you can try it for yourself that's uh, creating a spiral using spheres and then animating it so let's just see what happens if I grab my controller and then test this uh, this level so we have to uh, jump a bit and then we can try to get the, uh, the diamonds but for the demonstration I will just do it a bit quickly of course same here and we have to exit and again we're on time for this one Whoa. and more examples Let's see if we can jump on this structure. Yes, we can. And then inside the spiral. 
And if we are inside the spiral, you can just wait until you're in the center, or you can help a bit. And you could also, of course, create a level with a jetpack uh, thing. So in this case, I interacted by um, actually moving through the structures, but you can, of course, uh, for the collectibles, if we want to have a jetpack like this and place it somewhere in the uh, scene like here and we go there or maybe even quicker we can add a teleport uh, let's add a teleport in the center and then we go here and we jump into the teleport and here we have the jetpack and then of course you can uh, also use that one okay something else we could do with the circle animation is to um, not create really a circular object but objects in a circle which are moving so let's see what we have here we want to create something similar to this so if whenever i click on an object it gets selected as the object i want to create um, i would like to create objects in a circle about six of them so we'll check this and then as you can see we got something like this um, but in this case we want them all to be aligned horizontally so again we can change the properties of these objects we will just select the objects and then reset the angle to default and then get something like this and maybe make them a bit smaller so like about six and move them a bit to the center and then we can animate them so circle animation and then align it pro properly for instance like this and then let's see maybe it's a bit too fast so we will select the, the objects again and then change the animation speed so maybe about five or six maybe good enough and then we can test if this is uh, for the player to jump upon so that's also uh, something we can uh, use the animate as a circle for and of course we can still uh, change the type of animation to something else so it moves in a different way it's slow and fast and this elastic is going all like that and then you're catapulted off your Structure. So that's uh, just another example of what's possible with circle animation. And we can also use it for enemies, that the enemy moves in a circular fashion. Well, let's just 
choose one or we'll create an enemy at the end um, with the circular so we can easily control the size suppose it's like this and then of course with the animation menu animate along a circle and you could have it like that and then the player approaches it it will start to fire upon the player and again if we want to have different kind of um, animation type to make it more interesting we can do that so we are lucky that it's missing um, the exponential one is nice in this case it moves very fast so that's uh, just another example of uh, using this animate along a circle and the player doesn't have any weapons so let's just give, give him a, a weapon power up like this and place it next to him and deselect so I guess that's it for this part of animating along a circle